All right, guys, so in 2019, I did a video about a skeleton found in an Essex scrapyard wearing only cowboy boots. Now, almost three years later, detectives have finally figured out who this person was, but it's only led to more questions about how he died. That's what we're covering today on Cowboy Boot News. Oh man, I never thought my channel would get into true crime territory. My name is Jeremiah Craig and I usually do videos about cowboy boots, western wear, and folk music, but every once in a while there's a fun story like this one that I like to cover. And I covered it back in 2019 when Essex police released pictures of cowboy boots found on a skeleton in hopes that someone would recognize those boots so that they could ID the remains. They were kind of generic looking, you know, kind of like Abilene, Acme, Durango harness boots. So I don't think anybody came forward saying, I know whose boots those are, because it took them almost three years to figure out who this person was and the boots played no part. I would have loved if somebody came forward and was like, I recognize those boots. Even though the cowboy boots didn't play a part in this man's identification, uh, the BBC is still using it as an attention grabber for this story because uh, that was what they used in this story three years ago, which I'm thankful for because it helped me find out about it. Like, I was curious back then, three years later, here we are, cowboy boot mystery solved, they say. But is it really? Let's find out. In this article, it explains that detectives were able to use a DNA sample from the skeleton and identify the body that way. But there's more to it because the DNA did not make a match in their system. So the police estimated that the person was 50 years old when they died and that they had been dead for 20 years. So after they had took the DNA sample and found no match, instead they tried to look up folks who hadn't renewed their license or drawn a pension. And they came up with a short list of possibilities. So after taking the DNA samples from family members on their short list, uh, who they believed were relatives of the deceased, they confirmed the identity of the skeleton with the cowboy boots was Bill Long. And this is what he looks like right here. So this is the man whose skeleton was found in the Essex scrapyard. Now, Bill Long's daughter, Patricia, in the article, uh, it says that she lost contact with her father, Bill Long, in 1996. And it seemed like it was a regular issue that she and other relatives would lose contact with him for a little bit of time since they said he was an easy target for scammers. Uh, perhaps he was a little bit too trusting of strangers, which led him to do things that others might think twice about, you know? Uh, it was also reported that Bill Long went to Australia in 1996, so that same time when uh, he lost contact with his immediate family. Uh, went to Australia in 1996, met a woman there who became his girlfriend. And Bill Long and his girlfriend came back to the UK around the time like 1999 to 2000, which is when Bill Long is believed to have died. So the police haven't released any information about the suspect uh, who was the girlfriend of uh, Mr. Long here, Bill Long. Um, so it seems like the rest of the questions to this mystery uh, could be answered by her and whether it was an accident or maybe something more sinister. We'll have to see. So hopefully we don't have to wait very long. Uh, I'm not about to wait another three years to figure out how this story ends because I'm kind of chomping at the bit to make this story a song. Uh, this would just make an epic song, a skeleton with cowboy boots, and actually those cowboy boots for being underground for 20 years, they're in pretty good shape. <laughs> they don't have heels or anything, uh, but uh, the police department or the press definitely took some better pictures of them this time. Maybe if they took pictures like this the first time around, they would have had a better ID, but the first pictures that they took, you guys remember on Twitter, they were awful pictures. Uh, these are much better. 
Um, still, do you guys have any thoughts to this story? Uh, it's really interesting to me. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think and if you would like to see a conclusion to this story. Maybe it's like a three video thing that uh, just sort of pops up out of nowhere. Like, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely not a usual thing for me to cover on this channel, uh, but it's kind of fun and I can't wait to see how it ends so that I can write a song about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Well, we're wondering about Bill Long, how he died and what went wrong, but still he went out with his boots on. Check out the first video I did about three years ago up here. Or if you like this idea for a song, you might like this song down here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.